Have you guys seen my other closet cleanouts? Trust me, it's possible to have enough. Hello everyone, we are in a new room today. This is actually my favorite room of the house, my little personal library. So I figured it'd be easier to do it in here where all of the purses are housed instead of trying to drag all of them into the room that I usually film in. So today we are finally getting to cleaning out my purses. And you might be thinking, purses? Is that all one video? Do, who has enough purses to do one video? But have you guys seen my other closet cleanouts? Trust me, it's possible to have enough. So like everything else in my closet, I have a lot of purses. And as I've explained in my previous closet cleanouts, if you guys have watched them, and if you haven't, let me give you a little bit of context. I have always had an issue with getting rid of stuff. It's that fear of the what if, like what if I need that for an outfit one day? Like what if I need that for this one day? I'm not trying to be a minimalist. Obviously I will never be a minimalist, but I am trying to minimize on what I have and be more intentional moving forward with only getting stuff that I will actually use. So after this video, I will be doing a full closet tour to show what it looks like now. I don't think I have any videos of before, but I will show you guys what it looks like now, either on the community page or make it its own video. So let's get started with the purses. I actually brought a plastic container in here too, because I thought it would be a fun game of how many lipsticks can I find in these purses? Because I am that girl that switches purses every day, which means my lipsticks often get left behind. And I think I lost them, but I usually find them in some sort of purse. But let's just get started. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, make sure you do. I would love for you to be a part of the family. And let's get into the video because this is gonna take a while. So I have a basket, a box, and a pile. I think I'm gonna start with a pile and just get through that. And then we will move on from there. The first purse I am definitely not getting rid of. Everyone in my family has seen this purse for years. It is from Dee Dee's Discount, like literally 10 years ago. And I wear this one to death and somehow it has not gotten worn. There's finally, after like 10 years, some wear and tear on the strap. But it is stuck with me. A lot of my lipsticks are in here because I use this one every single day. It is the perfect book bag. Definitely not getting rid of it, but I will see how many lipsticks are in here. It's gonna be a lot because this is my primary purse. Okay, gloss, gloss, lipstick, chapstick, lip liner, lip gloss, um, and another lip liner. This one is super cute. I bought it from Target a few years ago. I just feel like I don't use it very often. One, I don't wear this color very often. This strap is very not in my like typical purse style. Like it's, I feel like it's even harder to match. And then it's not big enough for my books. So I feel like I never gravitate towards this one. I don't even know if I've used it more than like two times. So I probably need to get rid of it. This one is that TikTok viral one. I pre-ordered this one so, so, so long ago and I just haven't used it. It's supposed to be one where you can put your cup in here and it stays sturdy. And I got the Halloween collection because Halloween is my favorite holiday. I think this is so cute, but I have not used it yet. Honestly, I forgot I had it. I do think it's a really cute concept. Definitely cannot fit my books. So I'm a little bit conflicted on it. I think I'm gonna put it in the yeses for now and see how many I keep and if there's one that works better than this. I just like how this one's like sturdy and boxy and cute. This is an old purse. This is also from Dee Dee's years ago. I just don't wear it anymore. I feel like I used this one a lot when I first got it and I don't use it anymore so it's gonna go even though it is super cute. This one I bought from a small business like a very 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 long time ago. And I honestly forgot I had it because again, it doesn't fit my books. So I don't wear it very often. I don't use it. I'm tempted to keep it, but I'm like, is that smart? I don't use it. I'm just trying to think, is it smart? Do I need it? Hand sanitizer. And three lipsticks or two lipsticks and a lip gloss. Oh. Um, I'm just conflicted on the purse. I'm gonna let you guys decide in the comments on this one. Is it cute enough to keep even though it doesn't fit my books or should I get rid of it? I have a little backpack that is probably also from Dee Dee's a very long time ago. I don't use this one anymore because I do have a 
We only really use like our little backpacks when we go to Disneyland and we have the Groot one and we have a Star Wars one. So we use those ones more. So I'm probably going to get rid of this. This is a thrift find that me and my mom found and it's actually a really high quality genuine leather purse from Hobo, hobobags.com. It is a very expensive brand. I do really want to learn how to style this because I feel like it'd be so cute. I've just been scared to use it. So I'm definitely keeping this and I'm going to challenge myself to actually style it. Maybe it'll be in one of my upcoming styling videos. This one is so fun, but definitely not in my comfort zone. I never wear this color. I don't think I've ever used this, so I'm definitely going to get rid of it. I absolutely love this one. I got it at Target. I use it for like my birthday or whenever I like get a little bit dressed up, which I don't do very often, but I do. And this is my only like dressier purse. I think it's so pretty and I'm definitely keeping it. This purse is super, super, super cute, but again, super small. I'm gonna hold this one in the maybes because I do think it's really cute. It's very my style. I'm struggling with this video more than I was struggling with other videos for some reason. This purse, definitely not my style. Strap broke. It's very too bright. It's, I'm gonna get rid of it. I have this like croc style purse. I do think this is really cute. I'm kind of curious if it actually does hold a book. So it does fit my books. I do really like it. I think it's really cute. It's very high quality. I think I'm gonna keep it. This one is cute. I did thrift it. I use it in a lot of videos, but I just don't wear it outside of the videos. I feel like it's just too white, if that makes sense. Like, look, it's blinding on camera. So I'm gonna get rid of that one. This one, like the striped one, I got years ago. I wear it to death. I literally wear this one probably just as much as that first striped one. And it probably has a lot of my stuff in it because I use it very often. Oh my gosh, I've been looking for my book light. I'm definitely keeping this one though. This one is super cute and fun. It's just very not my style. The strap is too short. It doesn't fit anything. It's a funky shape, but with that funky shape means that it literally can't fit anything. Like right now, there's about six lipsticks in here. <laughs> oh no, uh, you guys are gonna see how many lipsticks I have too. And most of the time it's because I think I lost them because I do lose everything. We got two lip pencils three lipsticks and a lip gloss. This bag is cute. Again, it's from Target. I just feel like I don't wear it enough. It's just too small. This one is one of the flimsiest back bags I've ever ordered. It's just not, it's not it. The straps fall out all the time. I have to retie them. So I'm going to get rid of that one. This one is thrifted also. I just, it's too bright. I don't wear bright colors. You guys have seen on my channel that it's literally still unused. So I am getting rid of this one. This one I bought specifically for my birthday outfit and I absolutely love it. It does fit my books. They go up and down. See, it still has my birthday cards in it. it there is one lipstick on in here that I wore on my birthday. I love it. I think it's real leather. I did thrift this one off of Depop. I think it's so fun. It's so different and I'm definitely keeping it. This is a Madewell purse that I got for Christmas a few years ago. Unfortunately, a lipstick exploded inside of it. So I do need to clean that, but it is just a basic black purse. Definitely not getting rid of it, unless I can't get the lipstick out. This is a bag that I thrifted recently, obviously from the tag. It is a genuine leather bag. I think it's so cute with the design, so I'm definitely keeping this one. This one I thrifted as well. It's very fun, it's very out there. I feel like it's a little bit too early 2000s for me. I was thinking about selling this one on Depop. It's super cute and I'm pretty sure, pretty sure it is genuine leather, let me check. Cowhide leather. Yep. This is genuine leather. I do think it's really fun, but probably not for me. This one is cute and tiny. It just literally fits nothing, so I never end up wearing it. So I'm going to get rid of this one. This one is fun, but again, with all the other ones, it doesn't fit my books. It's too bright. I've never worn it, so I'm getting rid of it. This amazing bag is from the thrift store as well, and I absolutely love it. It can fit like three books and also two lipsticks, apparently. It can fit like three books. I've used this one many times since I bought it. I think it's so cute with a little buckle in front too. I just think it's so cute. It's genuine leather and I'm not getting rid of it. Okay, I think we need to have a battle. There is this bag and there is this bag, which are very similar, very similar styles. Actually, the same exact style. I feel like I'm leaning towards this one because this one is more in like my color palette, but this one gives me something that's a little bit different that I don't have in my collection. So I need you guys to vote down in the comments. 
Should I keep the green bee bag from Amazon? Or should I keep the blue floral bag from a, another business? We're getting into all of my thrifted bags that I'm keeping most of them. I got this cute little book bag from the thrift store. It is not leather, but I do really, really like it. It's this cute little like messenger bag. Definitely fits my books. So I am keeping this. I just thrifted this one a few days ago. I need to clean it off a little bit, but I definitely have a passion for finding like high quality bags at the thrift store now, which is kind of why I wanted to do this video. I wanted to get rid of all the bags that I don't use so that I can keep all the bags that I do use that are much higher quality. And when I saw this one at the thrift store, I was like, oh my gosh, it's made for me because it has a little slot for pencils in the side or like pens, which is so cute and I'm obsessed with it. Very similar vibes, so don't judge me, but here's another purse that I bought from the thrift store. This one is definitely smaller, just to give you guys an idea. This one is much, much, much smaller. It's much more compact. It still fits my book, which I love. I use this one quite often. I'm not getting rid of it, don't judge me. This one I think is so cute. I never use it, but I do use it in videos a lot. So I'm probably gonna get rid of it. This one is definitely on the cheaper side. It is from Timu, I'm pretty sure, when I did my Timu video. I do think it's cute. I do use this one a lot when I want like a pop of color because I don't have a lot of colorful purses. So I'm probably gonna hold on to this one. Maybe. This is gonna go on the maybes. Talk about my favorite purse. This. This one. From the thrift store, it is American Leather Company. The design on it is so freaking pretty. I am obsessed with this purse. It fits everything. I'm in love. It is my favorite purse. It has two pairs of earrings in it. I love this and I am not getting rid of it. Now this is my favorite color in the world but I don't wear this color very often but if I'm choosing between these two for a pop of color I'm gonna choose the yellow because this is one of my this is my favorite color. Actually these are both my favorite color which is the issue. I feel like we need to have another vote. Pink or yellow. Chapstick and two lip liners. Who knew I had so many lip liners? I didn't. I didn't know that. This purse is super cute. It's my only small tan one, so I do use it quite often. I don't know why it's not focusing. I do use it quite often. I actually used it a couple of days ago, which is why there is a pen and lotion and another lipstick in here. So I am definitely gonna keep this one. I do think it's cute. I wear it like this or I wear it over the shoulder. This one I love. I don't wear it very often, but I do wear it when I need like a pop of color and it's a little pattern on it. I do think it's really cute. Do I wear it enough to keep it? Probably not. And the last one is another thrifted one. I love this purse with all my heart. It is more of like an orangey tint. Again, genuine leather. This one is a much more worn leather chapstick than the other leather ones because I try to find them in semi good quality but I also kind of love the worn in look my other book light this is this is like a I'm finding all my lost stuff this is like a lost and found so I'm definitely keeping this one after thinking about it I might actually do a giveaway for this one just because I think it's really cute and I want someone to have it that's actually going to use it I've literally never used it so it is unused it's in very good condition I will get that off it's just a little scuff on it it has a little bat, which is really pretty. It has a strap, it is solid, and it's meant for a drink, and it opens up into this little cute pocket. This is from Kate Gabrielle. This is the originator of this kind of purse. So I'm gonna do a giveaway of this one just because I feel like because it's never been used, I want someone to have it that's actually going to use it. So I will put the giveaway details in the description box. Make sure you check that out if you want to enter to win this Kate Gabrielle Halloween style bag. So we did pretty okay. We didn't do as good as we do in the clothing videos, but we split it nearly in half. I, I started with excluding the ones that we are voting on. I'm taking those out of the numbers. I started with 29. I got rid of 14, but I kept 15. So we were close. Thank you for joining me on yet another closet clean out. Make sure you leave your votes in the comments, but also check the description box for the giveaway details because I want this to end up in someone's hands that love it and will use it. I'm excited going through all these purses because I feel like it reignited my love for them. Like this one. 
I haven't used this one in a while, but I absolutely love it. That's it for today's video. I'll definitely be doing some sort of final closet tour. I'll probably put a vote on the community page, so make sure you check that out if you haven't already. If you have not hit that subscribe button yet, make sure you do. I love having you here. I would love for you to join the family. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button. And if you want to be notified every single time I post, hit that bell icon. And I will see you next time. Bye. Sneaking in here because I forgot to show you guys how many lipsticks I found, but this is a little bit embarrassing. Oops. Found all my lipsticks.